that they can control it, as to they have to reorganize it so that it can be set up for power relationships. Now, how do you do that? First thing you got to do is you got to make these splits. Because if you're going to talk about power, where power means power over other, then you got to have an other to have power over. So much of their thinking is about separating into what becomes self and what becomes other. And we will look at that, and we call that the dichotomies. OK, that's the process of splitting. Um, it says no cosmic view, because a cosmic view interrelates everything. Their concept has to be based on separation. It must be separation. Now, remember what we said, that they are disconnected. They are beings who are disconnected. Therefore, the way they think about things has to be disconnected. The thought has to be disconnected. That affirms who they are. You see how it works. You just keep using that. If you use those principles and remember them, then things, but you'll be able to explain things, OK? So that the Utamawazo is uh, the cognitive aspect of the Asili. That is, has to do with thought, with um, how one comes to know. <coughs> and we will talk about rationalism as we get into the chapter. The Utamaroho, the energy source, is um, that's affective. You know, what, what uh, turns them on, in a sense. OK, what motivates them? And that comes from the tension that is established between them and the universe, between them and everything else, between them and themselves. OK, because they are in a state of disharmony with the self even because first thing you got to do is separate yourself from yourself and we'll see that platonic <coughs> thought is based on the platonic model is based on that 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 initial separation okay so that you see splits dichotomies the self versus the other always versus the other why versus because it's confrontational you understand that got to be confrontational got to be antagonistic. You've got to have things in opposition to each other. So to have that, you've got to have two different things, at least. Right? That's clear. OK, so that the way you perceive um, everything is as other, as enemy, the way you think about reality is in these antagonistic, uh, confrontational pairs. So that's the Utama Rojo and the Utama Wazo. Now, what the Asili analysis allows to happen is that it allows us to unmask who they are how they work and how they, the European or it European culture, affects us. That's what the Asili concept and analysis allows us to do. It allows us to see consistency and pattern. It tells us the logic of the culture. You see, the important thing is to know the right questions to ask. And what this analysis does, this approach does, is to tell us that what we always need to do is to ask, how does a particular action, a particular book, a speech, a film, uh, an institution, a war perpetrated by the European, how does that act to fulfill the Asili? That's what I want you to be able to do. So you can do that from now on. You go out, you have an experience, or you see something, 
something comes on television, whatever. Something happens to your child, you know, in a situation, in a classroom, and you'll be able to interpret in terms of the nature of the European Asili. Okay? Seeking power, the need to control because of what it lacks. So that the Asili approach in this way becomes a grounding presence. It's a centering concept and always brings us back to the reality of who the European is and what the culture is about. That's important. That has to be a grounding reality for us so that we don't get distracted and confused by the way in which things are always presented to us through the rhetoric. Always say, but who is that? <laughs> you know, and what's their nature? Ah, I know what's going on here. Always say, but who is that? <laughs> you know, and what's their nature? Ah, I know what's going on here. Always say, but who is that? <laughs> you know, and what's their nature? Ah, I know what's going on here. And then that will begin to tell us what we need to do in that particular situation.